The rise and fall of modern comics is a really interesting thing to think about and recently I had a chance to take a look at some books that were once high flyers that have seen their values come down. A couple of these books have seen their values decrease by 40 to 86 percent. Stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples and I want to start things off with this really cool Miles Morales Spider-Man cover right here. This is Iron Man issue number 12. This book was hot. To say the least, this book was extremely hot not that long ago. So I want to go ahead and take a look at essentially how this book has performed over time. And uh, first, we want to take a look back at where this book basically was. And I want to use the sold listings on eBay to, to do that. And this is the Terra Peak platform. But essentially what it shows here is that 9.8 copies of Iron Man issue number 12, that Miles Morales 10th anniversary cover where he was a DJ at a CGC 9.8 sold back in November of 21 for $420. And this appears to be the highest sale out there for a graded copy and only one copy sold for that price the shipping wow that's crazy $62 for shipping that is that is that's crazy all right so the some other sales that we see here are around 195 158 uh 110 then it kind of drops from there but what's interesting is that uh, this one person had 29 bids for one of their books that uh, ultimately went for $158. But a lot of activity here. There's one here uh, had a custom CGC label that had 48 bids on it. So this, this was definitely a hot book at one point in time that people were definitely interested in. And so what I wanted to do is, is I compared what we see here in Terra Peak to what the go collect data actually shows and what's great about go collect is that we we to some degree or another have some kind of historical reference points for some of these books and so what you can see in this chart here again on go collect is is going back to about 2001 uh this book was going back then in october for $67 i do believe at a yeah at a 9.8 it dropped off to about 54 climbed back up around December to around 80 some odd dollars and kind of stayed around there. It took a big hit in June of 2022 and has subsequently kind of leveled off. But this was a book again that when it was originally, uh, you know, graded and released was selling for somewhere between 158 to $420 again, only a couple of sales at that point. But, but essentially what we see here is a, is a value loss somewhere around 98 to $360, depending upon when someone happened to get in on this book. And again, a great, great book. There's no doubt about it. I have a raw copy of this book myself that I paid just a couple of bucks for. Somebody took pity on me that had multiple copies and sold me uh, one of them. So I was able to get a decent deal on it. Uh, but a lot of people were paying a lot of money for raw copies of this book. And, and a couple of people also paid a, a lot more than maybe what they should have for this book once it was initially graded. So that was one example that I wanted to kind of show you guys. And it, it is difficult uh, to some degree or another to pull up historical data on some of this because you can only go back to search so far with uh, with certain platforms. So um, let me let me go to another example, and maybe this one is an even more uh, striking example of of what happens with some of these modern comics over time. Here is a book that was extremely extremely popular for. Uh, it felt like a, a couple of weeks, but uh, others may know better than I. This is Black Panther issue number three. This is the first appearance and first cover appearance of Tosin. I think that that's how you say his name, T-O-S-I-N, Tosin. Uh, I remember reading this issue. It was okay. I wasn't blown away by it, but a lot of people, I guess, were really intrigued by this character and for whatever reason, uh, went on the hunt for this book. So let's look at how this book was, was basically performing using uh, the data that is, is presently at our disposal. 
And so this is actually, again, the Terapeaks sold data on eBay. And what you can see by looking at this chart here is that uh, this book at a 9.8, it was a 1 in 25 variant, was, was selling for $1,400. In fact, there were two sales by the same person at $1,400. There were other sales here around $1,300, $1,200. Uh, 11, 11, and, and it goes on. So a lot of people were spending, I think, some really hard earned money. There was somebody here that had four copies of that book that they ended up selling for $1,112 each. So this was definitely, again, a popular book, a one in 25 variant associated with a, a character you know that was in Black Panther. So uh, let's see how this book performed uh, over time as we... Uh, kind of compare what we saw there to to the go collect data and so here we go again this is the the clark variant what we see here let's blow this up a little bit it is pretty easy to see i think when you look at the chart here how this book has performed and this data goes back to march of 2022 you can see again here the book was selling then for basically $1,500 and the downward trajectory of the book uh, reaching $754 in June uh, kind of climbed itself back out and then dropped again in September of 2022 to around $700. This book has a 30-day average of $738 um, and an average value of 727 at the 90 day and the one year again you can see slightly higher so this book has definitely fallen off from from heights of around 14 13 1200 dollars to as low as 700 and $38, which represents around a $487 to a $662 loss. And again, a great book. There's nothing, there's nothing against the book, but you can see potentially what happens over time with these high-flying modern books that suddenly take off moments after they've been printed to see how they perform over time. And uh, potentially this answers a lot of questions out there for folks that, that may have copies of these books that are thinking about, well, do I sell it now? Do I send it off to be graded? Do I buy it now? Do I wait to get a raw or graded copy? I think potentially some of the answers can be found in what has happened historically with several of these books. Here's another book uh, that that was all the rage uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, this book dropped back in 2019. And I remember, I remember personally calling around to several comic shops in California trying to find a copy of this book. This is Marvel Comics Presents issue number six. This was the first appearance of Wolverine's daughter. And uh, I was, I remember personally being caught up in FOMO at the time trying to get a copy of this. I was... Uh, able to get a copy of this book from a comic shop that I had a very good relationship with. I paid cover price for it, and I'm very thankful uh, that I was able to get it at the time. But you can see how this book has performed over time. At a 9.8, for those people that opted to send this book in to be graded, it it has had maybe some ups and downs, but overall kind of sort of leveled off. The book back in 2019 was selling for $241 at a 9.8. It dropped off to $110 by uh, by April of 2022. Uh, what is that? Is it a little bit lower? $130 in February of 21 climbed up to a high of $250 in June of 21, like a lot of other books, and then dropped off in September down to a low of $71. But there have been a couple of sales that have put it back up to the $200 mark. Uh, I, I struggle a little bit with the value of this one given, given that, uh, but you can see here how it plays out in some of the data as low as 71 in, in recent months and as high as around 200 bucks or so between these last two sales that that happened. So a really interesting trajectory with this book. Uh, and again, uh, not all books that are hot when they are raw need to be sent in to be graded, but 504 total copies of this book on the census right now, it looks like a uh, couple of signed, couple of uh, one restored. So another another interesting book. Um, and again, you all may take from this different types of things. Uh, one last book that I will share with you is another book that was incredibly popular, incredibly popular and begat 
several different variants over time. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 55. Again, a really hot book uh, because of the cover. It it had absolutely nothing to do with Nick Spencer's writing uh, because the writing for this, this title was not very good, but Patrick Gleason uh, took the world by storm for a period of time with this wonderful cover that he was able to put together, resulting in 43 hundred copies being sent in to CGC, actually no, closer to uh, 5,000 total copies being sent in to CGC, uh, 3,600 of them being a universal blue label at a 9.8. And let's see how this book has performed over time. You can see that the value of this book has dropped off uh, somewhat dramatically. I mean, we're still talking, you know, 100, 200 bucks. But in January of 21, this book was selling for $137.50, and it has just basically declined to as low as $50 in August of 2022. It has since come back up to about uh, $68. The 30-day average for this book is 63 the, the high is 95 and you again can kind of see how that plays out in the individual sales. So again, not quite sure what you all will make of this data. I definitely want to encourage you to sound off in the comment section and let me know what you all think about this. And, and more importantly, does this have any ramifications for what you might do in the future? Because potentially there are books out there right now that will maybe follow a similar path as what we have seen right now. This book right here is uh, selling raw for crazy amounts of money. And the question is, how will this book perform over time? Only time will tell, uh, but I'm, I'm curious as to what you all's thoughts are. So be certain to leave those behind in the comment section. With that said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you did, I want to encourage you to give the video a thumbs up. As always, if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. Rolling.